Hey guys, it's Cassie. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. So, how are you guys? I hope all is well and everything is good with you and yours. So today I'm coming to do a video for you guys for Orchard Corset. Um, they sent me a corset to do a review. Um, this is going to be one of many reviews on this corset. Um, I've had it now for about two weeks and I'm still in the seasoning process of it. So I will get some shots of me in the corset and put them in the video so you guys can see what it looks like. The corset that I have on today is my um, C4, C-426 from Orchard Corset, which you guys can find on their website. It's orchardcorset.com. I also have the links and everything down below. Um, the corset that I have is the level three curvage of the corset, so it's the level three, and I also have it in the cotton, so it's all cotton. They recommend me to get the cotton, um, so it's better to wear underneath clothing um, because with leather it can slide and everything like that. But the majority of my shirts and everything is cotton, so it'll pretty much like stick to it pretty much. Um, I have been wearing my corset, um, I started wearing it two days after I got it, and the shipping for Ultra Corset is super, super quick, and like, you will get your stuff in like... Every person who I hear talk about Orchard Corset, they say they get their things in like less than two to three business days after Orchard Corset sends their product out. I love my corset. I love the way I feel in it. I love the way I look in it. I just really, really enjoy my corset. As you guys know, I have been waist training for about um, almost a year. It'll be a year in February. Um, and I started with um, the waist clencher um rubber um things and those do work for me okay um you know a lot of people say oh it's not real waist training until you get still boning and everything like that but i will post my results for my waist training i'll post the picture in the video so you guys can see it truly works you guys know i was doing weight watchers for a while but i had to stop due to my illnesses but after i started waist training and everything like that i was like no ma'am like you know, you will get better results if you do waist if you waist train and work out. But um, I can get the body that I want without working out. It does take more time, okay? And it is still good for you to exercise, okay? But as of right now, your girl can't exercise due to her illnesses. But other than that, I do my waist training and I look good and everything. My waist is coming in very defined. After I take off my corset or if I'm wearing my waist clincher, I still get that shape, that hourglass shape. I really, really love it. So, you know, I really enjoy my corset right now. I'm still seasoning it. Um, I don't know all it everything about corsets. I'm not saying I'm the queen bee in them because I am not. I am just an amateur corset wearer and I am really really loving my corset and I'm loving my results. Now tip for my big girls. This corset right here is meant for if you do have a long torso which I do have a very long torso um, because of my gut run is over <laughs> okay so at least my gut is not where it used to be and i praise god every day about that because your girl has came a long way okay but um my gut still runneth over so what i do recommend you to wear is a pair of spanks to lift up your under gut so everything can be seamless and if your corset does not hit the bottom of your stomach the Spanx will help that because the Spanx will smooth it out. So if you're wearing a dress or something like that and you're wearing your corset underneath it, everything will look seamless. Okay? Okay. That's just a tip. I don't have any Spanx on today because I'm in the house chilling pretty much today. I didn't do nothing. So, um, yeah, I got my corset on. I'm looking cute. I'm looking fierce. I'm loving the way that I feel in it. It's just, I don't know because... If you are an amateur corset wearer, you have not been in the game for a minute, you know, um, so you're not even used to clinchers. When you put this on, you can be like, baby, oh, I can't breathe, Lord. Help me, Lord Jesus. It's a fight. Like, you really going to act up. But if you've been wearing clinchers, I've been wearing clinchers for about six to seven, eight months now. And then I'm just now getting into my stillborn cor stillbound corset game. Like, it's a piece of cake. Like, the tighter I can get it, I love the way it feels, and I just feel snug, and it just feels like armor. Like, you know, it feels like a man. It's just holding you, and I love it. All right, you guys, I hope you can see me. I had to put my glasses on to make sure that y'all can see me. It does not look like I'm in focus, but um, I hope I am. So, yeah, let me take these off. <laughs> All right, you guys, so 
All right, you guys, so this is my corset. I pray that you can see me. And now I'm squinting because I just went last. Anyhow, so this is the corset. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And as you guys can see, I, excuse me if I'm one day, I just had to run to my room and run back. Oh, Lord. Okay. So this is the corset right here, you guys. As you can see, I'm still seasoning it. It's not as tight as it possibly could be. Um, down here as well. I hope you guys can see down here, but it's not as tight down here either. But where my waist is, it is not maximum where it could be, but it's pretty tight on my waist. Um, you guys possibly can see the definition of small, then it gets wider here. Um, this I don't have hips at all. I have a high butt and no hips and a gut. That's what I have. So, yeah. Anyhow, <laughs> so this is my corset, um, the C426 by Orchard Corset. I am tying it in the front for right now. Now, if I'm going somewhere out and about, I will tie it in the back because then I can have somebody tie it for me. But in the back, my strings are getting longer and longer since I'm able to tighten it even more and more. It's getting difficult with me to tie all that long string. So it's just much easier for me to tie it in the front. I know that you can possibly damage your corset by tying it in the front. Woo -dee -woo, but it's not, I'm not putting a lot of strain on my strings or on the hooks in the back. Um, so yeah, y'all, that is it. This is how my corset is looking. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. Also, tell your significant other, because there's some girls who be like, I don't want to wear all this stuff at my old job or whatever. We sold body shapers. And they be like, I don't want to be at the club, and I'm with my man, and he hold me, and he feel all this stuff. Girls, tell them. The guy, my boo or whatever, um, he knows. I tell him. Like, I tell him that this is something that I'm really, really interested in. I showed him my before and my afters. And he's interested in too for me. Like, he's like, okay, cool, babe. That's nice. You got a new corset. Let me see it. Like, he, he's into it. Like, he enjoys seeing me in my corsets. And so I would take my little pictures with my corset. And... And, and it'd be looking cute and you know I enjoy he enjoys it and uh, corsets are not just for sexy wear like some girls think of a corset being ba ba boom we about to get in the bedroom no it's this corset is not a fashion corset this is to be worn you can wear it over your clothes under your clothes whatever you choose to do but because it has real still boning it's gonna form that waist and bring that waist in